Hey guys, it's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto channel. Today, buy Bitcoin. Why? Because we're looking at the Fear and Greed Index. Now, if you remember just a couple of weeks ago, we were putting together a theory around buying the dip using the Fear and Greed Index. Now, I put this together because it's so common in the crypto space for retail traders to have a zero plan and zero idea of what they are going to do next. Should they be buying this coin now? Is this coin too cheap? Is it too expensive? What the hell should I be doing? I'm putting this together to help solve all of those problems and give you a head start on the masses which will be coming as we move into the next part of the bull cycle. So if you need to save this video, come back to it. There are questions in it that you can go back and answer if you find things that aren't working for yourself. I plan to give you uh, the practical lessons on how to teach yourself to fish, not just give you the fish. So if you're interested in taking fish off someone else, this isn't the channel for you. But if you want to learn how to fish, you've come to the right place. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification icon, and like the video up. Also, follow me on Instagram for daily Q&As, all for free. Check us out over there and Twitter for your crypto news updates. All right, let's dive in. Let's start with the Fear and Greed Index. Now, you can find this website. Just type in Crypto Fear and Greed. You will get it on Google. 15. I came up with an arbitrary number of 15. I didn't like 16. I thought 17 was too high. I decided to use 15. These are the things that need to be back tested. And I looked back about three years and saw that 15 seemed to work out okay. Do not take my word for it. Go and put the work in. Not only because it's, uh, you know, it's going to teach you something, but you're actually going to feel like the plan is yours. Some people just, they, they can't understand that you need to feel, you need to grasp something for yourself, but really go and do the work. It's going to make this, uh, just cement it for you and it's taken for yours rather than you just looking at my work and just copying what I do. Go and do it for yourself. Sorry, I've mentioned that so many times, but really it is so important. So we come down to crypto fear and greed index over time. I've gone back three months because one year doesn't give us any other readings. There's nothing under 15 here. All we have is this little section over the last few weeks. So I'm going to bring it down to three months and we can see that we have a, a reading on the 20th of May, another reading on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th. These ones are too high. And then again, we just saw one today, not yesterday, which was 17, as I heard some people saying. I'm sure they'll let me know in the comments. And 15 is today. What is the fear and greed? Extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a buying opportunity. When investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. Note that we had been going through extreme greed through the tops. And then we started to get lower tops uh, as the market continued to climb up high. But it wasn't climbing at a fast rate. If I go back one year, the extreme tops were through December, January, and then the last extreme tops were February at the, in the 90s. And then the market was still climbing up in price, but the, the greed was wearing off and it just started to slide down. We're getting lower highs, lower highs until we crashed into our extreme fear. So the next part down here, it tells you how the fear is all measured, the volatility, market momentum, volume, social media, and dominance. Trends. Now, this was devised off of the uh, fear and greed for the stock market, and they've done one for the crypto market. That's that's what it is, if you guys wanted to know. Looking at the market capitalizations, $1.67 trillion. It looks like we haven't moved at all, but the fear and greed dropped overnight. Bitcoin, 36666 Ethereum, 2788 Cardano, $1.72. The top 20 has had a reasonable 24 hours. But in particular, our favorite here on the channel is Solana. Polygon's done quite well over the last 24 hours, but it's just recovering after a, a week that saw it fall about 20 or 30% overall. So Solana's been the main player here. And uh, what's our other one here? Polkadot, another favorite of the channel. Of course, Cardano is doing reasonably well, holding up against a lot of the majors, even as Bitcoin stays at its lows. But yeah, top 20 looking okay. All right, so that's just give us an idea of what's going on out there. The market is fearful. It's extreme fear. It's a Bitcoin buy day according to this plan, but the market doesn't seem like it's too worried. So I like that. Bitcoin USD. Now I've got the Bitstamp chart here. These are the points that we've been looking at. Pay close attention to where they are. Don't brush over this. This will be one of the most valuable videos 
uh, along with the fear and greed video that I did just a couple of weeks ago. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. This is going to make uh, make you money if you put the time into it. Take it for yourself and devise some exit strategy rules for yourself. I have to say I'm not a financial advisor, but I found this to work extremely well. Let's have a look at where these days are. This is the 20th. This is the 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 30th, and the 7th. Look at the volume. We are starting to dry up a little bit here. And I'm going to look at BTC on the chart in just a sec as well. So how do we know when to buy? These are the sort of questions you've got to ask yourself to know where am I going to buy? Even though today it says 15 on the fear and greed, when am I buying this? Think about today. The market closes at UTC 0000. So midnight UTC plus zero. So basically London time, it's at zero. For me in Australia on the East Coast, it's at 10 a.m. on a Monday. That's when the weekly close happens. That's when the daily close happens actually. Every, every day, 10 a.m. Find out what that day is for you and that's the close. That's when this updates. So come back and check your chart every single day. Extreme fear was today. So that's why we're going to look at the open. That's why we're choosing the open price. So the 20th of May open price is at 36,793. Looking up here, then I go to the 22nd, do the same thing. 37,318, 37,400. You get the gist. There's the open, there's the open, there's the open. This is just a mechanical plan. So remember, there is nothing that is 100%. You will never buy the absolute low. You will never buy this 3,800 and sell the absolute top. If you watched the video just over the last couple of days, I was looking at a trade on Zen that's that lasted me a few years and also buying into the lows, not the exact low, and then selling out as the market went up. And I was just looking to take a chunk out of the market like that, even, even a little bit lower, somewhere over there. And the point being is that I don't need to get the exact low, the exact top, as long as I'm making my percentage gains in the middle, somewhere around here, you know, I got my three, four, five hundred percent over the course of six months, 12 months, maybe even a few years, that's still 100% per year and I don't have to have leverage. So I reduce the risk out almost entirely. I can lose what I've put in, but I can't lose any more. Like I can't uh, borrow money and then lose that and then have to pay back all this money that I don't have. So the, the returns are pretty, well, absolutely amazing in cryptocurrency if you have the patience. Retail, we know time and time again, does not possess the patience. So move yourself out of that retail zone and into the smart money. You don't have to have huge dollars. You just have to have patience and uh, a mindset to continue growing and improving your plan. I've added all those extra bits in there. That's to understand where we are here because this market can still fall further. This can still go down into the 20s. Have a look at this. This is the Bitcoin chart, but it's inverted. If you have um, trading view, you can do this, I believe, with the first paid version. You've got invert scale here. It's worth it, in my opinion. 12 bucks or 15 bucks. There's a link to this in the description down below. It's you know, 15 bucks a month, but this saves me a ton of money because I can um, look at the chart and think, oh, look, this has to be bullish. You know, everyone's putting these triangles on the chart. I'm like, well, look, that looks bullish. Let me just flip it and see what I'm looking at if I flip the chart. And now it doesn't look the same. You know, so that I stop giving myself the confirmation bias that this thing has to go up. To me, this looks like maybe we could go down a little bit, test out these levels here, maybe punch up again, and then move on. And if you look at the, the scale on this side, we've flipped the chart. So this means that we could go up to around, you know, somewhere in the 20,000s just to clear out these lows. Maybe we do that for a brief moment. We wick out, come back, and then close within these ranges here. That's a strong pattern to now head back up the price chart and of course because this is flipped we're going down so this pattern it looks bullish but of course it's flipped so it's actually bearish so we just want to take out the confirmation bias and that's why i'm talking about investing in my education before i say well then that's 15 bucks that i could put onto cardano it's like if you invest your time into the education you're going to make more money in the long run rather than basically just gamble on something and not have any education that's looking at the confirmation bias we have now looked at the chart here now we're going to see, okay, we've got the fear and greed. One of the biggest questions that came up from the last video is, can this be done on other cryptocurrencies? And I would say, just go and do what I did. Add in some filters. You're going to need filters of when you do use it, when you don't use this, buy at 15%. Oh, sorry, the 15 on fear and greed. Now for Cardano, I just put in the same points here, uh, looking at the dates. So 
Here's the 20th. There's the open price of $1.47. Here's the open price on the 22nd, $1.55. Here's the open price of $1.46, etc., etc., etc. And then you would just go and put these into a spreadsheet, which I'm about to show you. This is the guts of it. I'm about to show you that. And then you just have to keep track of this day by day. So remember, this doesn't mean that we are going up from this point. These are just uh, like a mechanical plan, how to set up a mechanical plan for yourself in order to buy. And then you have to figure out a filter to sell. And also look at that in just a brief moment. Ethereum Bitcoin, can you do it with Ether? Sure. I've done it on ETH Bitcoin, obviously do it on ETH USD. But again, all I'm doing is just putting the points to show you where the opens are. There's the open, there's the open price, open price, open price, open price. Straightforward. All right. This is the spreadsheet. So this is what we look at in the Investor Accelerator. If you're unfamiliar with that, that's the membership course. You can find a link to that in the description down below. This is what it looks like on the website. That's what you will find if you want to click on it. If you still aren't sure of it, someone has gone to the effort of writing up a complete review of the course. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you guys can go through and read it. This is someone that bought the course, uh, went through it and wrote up their review of the course. I haven't paid them. I haven't talked to them in any way about this. And I just said, is this yours? And he said, yep. And I'm like, that's fantastic. Thank you very much. I'll leave it there just so you guys can see that as well. Some people have asked, what's this about? All right, that's enough of me shilling my own education and course. I am very passionate about teaching how to do this for yourself, not just watching some random on YouTube and uh, just going with what they're saying. Investor Accelerator, and if that's too much, Weekly Accelerator, that's a free newsletter. Just drop your email address, link to that down below. So Bitcoin dollar cost averaging fear and greed plan. Title of it, the rule, buy Bitcoin on open if fear is 15 or less. So these are all mechanical things. So you can just go, okay, what happened today? I opened this up, 15, sweet means I have to buy. Let me go to my chart. What's the open price? Cool. Uh, open price was 35,810. Oh, shoot. You know, I, it's 11 a.m. I missed the open. All right, what's the price there? Maybe it's a few bucks more. Okay, that's going to happen as well. But we're just using this to give us uh, give us some numbers. When to sell? This is to be confirmed. In, in my own plan, I use GAN swing rules and I use Wyckoff rules. Now we've done a course on this, like I said, in the Investor Accelerator in uh, great detail, as you will also note, from this review as well. So that's how I exit, but everyone's gonna have different ways of exiting. They might only want a percentage, they might just want a dollar figure that they're aiming for. So in that case, here are some equations that you can go through and put this into your own plan. Bitcoin value, that's the current value when I wrote this up, you know, maybe an hour ago. Um, total invested 6K because we're buying $1,000 every single open when the fear and greed index is at 15 or less. All right, so this is how mechanical I like to have my trading plan so that I don't have to worry about stressing or getting emotional about when do I buy, is it too high now, all this sort of nonsense that goes on in our heads as investors. So these are the dates. This is the price that I was buying at, like I just showed you on the chart. Then the amount, so this comes under your risk management. How much do you want to risk on each trade? Do you have $10,000 or do you only have $1,000? Do you have $100,000? If I got $10,000, all right, well, I have 10 rolls of the dice. Do I want 20 rolls of the dice? Therefore, I want 20 rolls, so I only want to put $500 in. These are all things that are individual to the plan and they're questions that you have to continually ask yourself, set the plan up, and then execute it. Okay, so we got 10 rolls of the dice. Here it is. We are starting uh, Bitcoin quantity. I bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin at this price. That gives me... 0.027 etc bitcoin now i do that every single day my total is now 0.1662 etc so i have this much bitcoin now i go back up to my my spreadsheet up here and i've put a total investment of six thousand so it's added up all of this and this will continue to update as well these are all automatic all i have to do is just go back in here throw another thousand dollars in boom goes up to seven thousand dollars okay we haven't done that yet so my net BTC value is $6,040. My total profit is $40 currently using this plan. My percentage return is 0.66%. That doesn't sound like a lot, but remember, we are in an accumulation phase. We're not expecting this to be getting us huge gains right now. This is the time that the money is made. It's not made at the tops, buying the tops and then waiting forever. This, this is the time. So that's why I'm talking about this is the time that I'm excited to be buying Bitcoin. I'm not excited to buy it at... 50,000 plus or 60,000 plus. So where are we going to sell out at? Okay, maybe we get to $100,000 Bitcoin. 
this is the fun part. Now you can play around with this and you can start to de de develop different ideas and outcomes. So 100K, that's going to give me a BTC net of 16,600. I've only invested six grand. So my profit is 10,600. There's my return, 64%. Should Bitcoin, Bitcoin get to 150K? All I have to do is change the Bitcoin value and I see, all right, 76%. Uh, my profit is eighteen or nineteen thousand dollars. Cool. So that can come down to your when to sell Bitcoin. Like I said, mine is Gann and Wyckoff, and I teach that in the Investor Accelerator in far more detail. We've just released a Wyckoff Volume Pro course, which is a very succinct course about reading bar charts with the volume, just like Wyckoff did. And so that's now in the Investor Accelerator. That you can find a link to in the description down below. 76% returns. So yours might just be sweet. I just wanted to get to 20 grand. So what's my Bitcoin value have to be? That's 152K. All right, I need a little bit more. Maybe it's 160 grand. Who's to say it's actually going to get to 160 grand? There's my 20 grand profit. So now that you've got all of this here, let's take a look at Bitcoin itself. And there are some targets that I have using GAN Fibs. And I'm going to do a more detailed video on this on the channel as well. So make sure you stick around for that and subscribe to the channel, bell notification, like the video up if you're finding some value from this. Basically from this point, we have our uh, Fibonacci extension, low to high to low, and we're looking for 100%, 150%, 200%, 100%, so 100% uh, leaves us out at 90 grand, 200% is at around 150 grand, that's one area. Then we have our Fib extension as well, so we have trend based and we have our ranges resistance card is really what Gan called it, but you're not going to find that in your uh, in the tools like that. That's this one here. Rib, uh, fib retracement. Gan called it a ranges resistance card. Okay, so we got that to the top. And then we look for around our 200%. Brings us out at 125K or 162K for the 261%. This is all ways to uh, develop potentially where we'll see price resistance. And then it's a selling point for the plan. So that is pretty much what I'm looking at here when it comes to how to get in, entry trigger, exit trigger, loss. We haven't looked at that today. We need to develop that as well. I've talked about that in many other videos of levels where I think, all right, maybe this is not working out and we have to sell out. Looking at swings, of course, with GAN. We talked about exit triggers for profit taking. And then of course, risk management. What is it? How many rolls of the dice do you want to do here? What works for you? that's going to come down to your own personal look at the market. All right. So I hope you found a lot of value from that. That is a good look at developing a plan for yourself. Now is the time that people are going to be making money. If you have the patience and you've got a plan, I hope I've been able to give you enough there to get started. Start researching it. If the Investor Accelerator isn't for you now, go and research these things online. You can find everything for free online. I'm not trying to get you just to sign up. Of course, when it comes to a course, you want to find some value from it and it saves time because everything is structured. So you've got the two options there. Go out and find it for free. Spend a lot of time doing it or come on board with us in the Investor Accelerator. Otherwise, drop your email address for the uh, the weekly accelerator. That's the, the newsletter that we look at, cryptos and stocks, going through the charts and giving you some uh, idea of what we are looking at as well. So the weekly accelerator is down below in the newsletter. Like the video up, subscribe, bell notification icon, uh, Instagram, Twitter, daily Q&As. Lastly, thank you very much to the student that wrote up the review of the Investor Accelerator. If you wanted to ask some questions to him, drop your comments down there as well. This is completely independent from myself. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.